Okay, this is so sick. Google recently released a tool called Illuminate that lets you take research papers and translate them essentially into podcast style audio format conversations that you can kind of just listen to on the go. Let's unpack a paper titled Attention is All You Need. What's the core idea here? Well, the big idea in this paper is that we can build a really effective sequence transduction model. I am so much the target user for a tool like this. I'm very much an audio person. I always listen to audiobooks. I like podcasts. I struggle to finish a physical book. It's a weakness of mine. I think it's all my years in music school, listening to hours and hours of music recordings and transcribing the music, where I've built up this habit, this muscle of listening for a long time and being able to pay attention. And this tool will let you take research papers like the one we're looking at right now, which very interesting, very dense, perhaps a little bit challenging to get through, and turn them into rather enjoyable conversations that you can listen to. So let's take a look at this one. Attention is all you need. If you've been following AI, the technical side of AI at all, you're familiar with this paper. I'll just bring it up real quick so we all know what we're looking at. Attention is all you need. Maybe the most famous paper uh, in the past uh, few years in artificial intelligence. It's where the transformer uh, model was first introduced. But it takes that paper and it turns it into something like this. Let's unpack a paper titled Attention is All You Need. What's the core idea here? Well, the big idea in this paper is that we can build a really effective sequence transduction model out using recurrence or convolutions, uh, the usual suspects, right? What? That sounds so good. <laughs> it it sound, sounds like a podcast. And instead, just rely on attention mechanisms. The paper shows that in the context of machine translation, this new approach not only performs better than RNNs, but also trains faster. It's... Oh, let's hear what he had to say real quick. Interesting, especially considering the time this paper was published. It's from 2017, right? What was the state of sequence models back then? Exactly, 2017. Good question. Back then, everyone was all about RNA. Yeah, so that's, man, that is fascinating. I love that. So um, they've they've trained up either either their own model or they have some kind of prompt chaining happening. Perhaps prompt chaining, I'm not really sure. I haven't found the technical details for how this works. But they take an input, this paper, and... Pull out the interesting bits and turn it into a conversation. Let's take a sneak peek at one of these other ones. How about AI for low code? Ready to break down some research? This paper, AI for low code for AI, explores how visual programming and natural language processing can work together to build AI systems, even for those without a traditional coding background. I'm joined today by an expert in AI who is going to help us understand the ins and outs of this study, as well as their prototype tool called Low Coder. So, could you start by telling us a little about how LowCoder works? LowCoder aims to bridge the gap between... Okay, notice how um, the expert in, in AI was not named. I was wondering if it was going to name one of the authors, but then it occurred to me, this is not the author speaking, right? This is synthesized voice, and it's a synthesized conversation. Um, there's also a books tab. Let's take a look at that. So what's going on here? The Art of War by Sun Tzu, uh, The Great Gatsby, Don Quixote, Metamorphosis. Ooh, Metamorphosis. Let's look at that. Okay, so the source here is gutenberg.org. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, so I guess these are texts that are sort of in the public domain at this point, something like that. Um, what does this have to say? It's a six minute. So it's, it's not gonna be reading the entire book, I would think. Uh, but yeah, let's look at this. Let's discuss this book titled Metamorphosis. Can you tell us about this work? Metamorphosis is a novella written by Franz Kafka, published in 1915. It tells the bizarre and unsettling story of Gregor Samsa, a traveling salesman who wakes up one morning to find himself transformed into a giant insect. I'm going to fast forward a bit. Themes. How does the story end? The ending is quite bleak. Gregor eventually dies, neglected and forgotten by his family. His death brings them a sense of relief, and they move on with their lives, seemingly unburdened by his tragic... Wow, did they, did they find a voice that is as bleak and, and heavy as that story itself? She sounds pretty down. Fate. 
It's a somber conclusion to a powerful. <laughs> How funny is that? That's really interesting. So it's this seems to be almost like a cliff notes of of these texts. Um, shorter, you know, shorter five minute, six minute, and so on. Whereas the research paper, let's see, it doesn't show the duration here. Okay, well, let's it shows talk it about down. The latest developments in AI. It, quick. it does show it down here, eight minutes. So, um, really interesting stuff. You know, I already did it, but right here there was a waitlist sign up. So if you go to illuminate.google.com, you can sign up for the waitlist and they'll let you know when it's fully available. In addition to this um, library here, you have your you have a personal library. Obviously, mine's empty because the tool is not really even available yet. This is uh, in an experimental phase. And there's also a generate tab, which I can't actually even click into, but uh, it, it seems like I'm going to be able to add my own papers or even my own books or maybe my own writing. Um, let's look at uh, kind of some, some of uh, what Google says you're supposed to do with this. Generates audio with two AI generated voices and conversation discussing the key points. It's currently optimized for published computer science academic papers, specifically computer science papers. Uh, I mean, it's a reasonable place to start. I mean, especially if they want to use this tool internally to help their own teams kind of um, learn faster. I was searching around online to try to find some history behind this tool. This is really the only interesting thing I could find. Um, it's from the Comp Social subreddit, but it's, but it's a four month old post, so that's that's relevant. And they're talking about this. This poster is talking about this tool. So announced at this year's Google I/O, uh, Google Labs Illuminate project transforms research papers from PDFs into approachable podcast style conversations explaining the paper. Um, this link just takes us back to where we were originally. So at least four months ago, it was announced that they would be doing this. I posted about this on TikTok as well and got quite a bit of attention. So I want to respond to some of the comments here. Um, Joe always has good comments. So full flex for where we are at right now. He means in terms of artificial intelligence. I think that's right. Um, so in terms of what is Illuminate doing that's fundamentally new, um, and a few other commenters in the TikTok point this out as well, I, I don't think there's a lot of new... Um, artificial intelligence tech or capabilities necessarily happening here. We've had voice synthesis already, right? I use 11, 11 labs. That's kind of my go-to. Um, any, any large language models going to be able to take a paper and turn it into a podcast style conversation, you could have automated this exact experience using make.com, you know, uh, three months ago, five months ago, before that Reddit post. I think what's new here, and this is meaningful, is we have all of this functionality packaged up nice and neat into a simple product that puts all of those steps behind a single button. I can, I can click this button, this play button, and it just starts reading to me. I think that's what's new here, and I agree with Joe. This is full flex for where we are right now. But can it turn the research paper into a danceable number or maybe a few trending memes? <laughs> Pretty good. I think, I think that's future versions. Sorry. This is a really interesting one to think about. Wow, podcast in industry should be worried? Does it make Spotify's big investment in this space questionable? So many questions. Yeah, um, great question. You know, there's going to be so many new products coming out over the next few years um, that's going to change a lot of industries. And you see my comment there below. In my opinion, you know, I think this is an amazing tool. It's perfect for me. If I want to learn about a new paper, learn the key points, I kind of want it in a podcast conversation format. Um, but I think there's always going to be a premium on hearing what real humans think. And I think it's always going to be more interesting, not just to me, but pretty much to everybody, what a person thinks about a paper or about a book. And, um, and just because there's more content out there that's easier to consume, that doesn't mean that I don't want to hear you know, the original author um, of this paper talk about this paper. That's a very different perspective. Or it doesn't mean that I don't want to hear Andrew Ng talk about this paper. He's a very uh, well-read, um, influential figure in artificial intelligence. I'd like his perspective on this paper. So it's a good question. I mean, 
my thoughts are, I don't think the podcast industry is going away or anything. Um, this is kind of similar to, you know, generative AI images. Um, there was a little bit of a scare at one point. Oh my gosh, graphic designers are going to disappear. Artists are going to disappear. Well, you know, over time we kind of realized like AI generated art, like is just kind of okay. Like some of it's really cool, but it takes a lot of nuance and it takes a lot of human creativity to make it cool. So just because there's going to be a lot more podcast style audio recordings out there, I don't think the podcasting is going to go away. Yeah, so this is kind of what I was saying a second ago. Um, uh, Seister Christian says, I've been meaning to do this with the news in my morning feeds. I think all the parts exist. I agree. Um, seeing this product and interacting with it, I can immediately imagine how I would do this using make.com. Um, and in fact, had they not already built this, I probably would want to do this. Um, I, I have actually worked a little bit on taking my own um, newsletters that I receive and turning them into audio recordings. I've built that before. It was just okay. And I needed to iterate on it more to make it more useful to myself. But yeah, all the parts are already there. So, so like I said, I don't think there's anything fundamentally new in AI that's being revealed. It's, it's more that it's a really great, well-designed product. And last comment I'll read out here. Um, so millions of useless podcasts. You know, I, I disagree. I disagree. Um, you see my comment there. I think I think the power of a tool like this is that it's really can be a great personal learning tool. You know, um, I would uh, I would rather read Attention is All You Need, for example, the actual PDF and, and have this podcast style format. I would like both both formats. And with the books, for example, I mean, I'm not in high school anymore, but when I was, I read Cliff Notes all the time as a way to, let's be honest, uh, skip, a, skip a chapter here and there, um, but also to reinforce my the memory of the book that I, that I did read, right? And so I might finish a book, I might go back and read the Cliff Oh yeah, that's right. That's what this character was doing in the third chapter. I forgot about that because it was three weeks ago I read it. So, I mean, just having more formats, people learn in different ways. I don't think we're going to have millions of useless podcasts. I think what's really happening here is it's podcast style, but it's really about personal learning. You know, they might create some sort of distribution uh, uh, platform where, where these can be consumed in a podcast format, and it might actually compete with a Spotify or something like that. But that's fine too, you know, um, it's just more ways to learn. Let me know what you think. Are you signing up for the wait list? I definitely already did. So when I get my hands on it, I'll make a follow up video walking everyone through how you actually create your own audio recordings and what some of my takeaways are. I'm Andrew. Thanks for checking this video out. Give me a subscription and a comment below. I'll catch you later. Bye.